time um, for the old cars to recover had been longer, so they had to recover, I think, at uh, least, uh, let's say, four no, hours. Wales, Wales played right after the Orca, so Orcas played today at 9 and Wales play at 9.30, so it's just half that's an true. hour, it's okay, I mean, that's not that bad. That means right now we have, what time is it? 2.30, I mean, yes. They had over four hours. That's yeah, okay. so both teams uh, brought a uh, pretty, pretty good uh, recovered here uh, after their first games. Así que bueno, Colombia están todos ahí tratando. Oye, y acaba de empezar el partido y tenemos a Federico con el balón y Colombia en posesión de la pelota y ya completamente decidido a atacar a los chicos de Australia. Eh, Colombia es uno de los equipos favoritos de la Champions y la, han jugado hoy a la mañana contra Suiza. Así que bueno, vamos a ver qué pueden hacer los australianos con la rapidez y la agilidad de los colombianos. This will be tough for uh, um, for the Australian team to keep up with uh, the one of the top teams of the Champions Cup. But nevertheless, <coughs> here you see they their plan is to try to destroy the ball playing of the Colombians as much as they can to be in between to swim as fast as they can the question is how long they can keep up the pace they have right here because the the movements the ball playing and the passing of the the Colombians is very fast and as a, a defending team you really have to um, be in between otherwise uh, they will score and use the gap they create while you just think what just happened oh that was a pass from a uh, colombian in the hands of a defender from uh, wales from australia but recovered very fast but uh, i have to say very good job from wales keeping uh, the orcas away already yep. for one and a half minutes from their own uh, basket well, uh, today they played again a karen and they lost um six zero which is uh, really a great, uh, if you think, Akaren is one of the top teams. So, I mean, I mean, I'm talking about Wales. So let's see. I mean, I mean, Colombia is also one of the top teams, but 6-0 is a, is a great result. See. If you see the difference of uh, experience that they it have, it is amazing uh, what I see here. How much they uh, Australia succeeds to interrupt the game of uh, the Colombians. And the Colombians are doing their swimming around and uh, making the defensive uh, defensive team dizzy game. But uh, uh, I don't see them break right here, although the, the speed in which the Colombians keep them rotating is quite high. So I would say eventually the Colombians break through. But, r but, but here, as we see... There is no mistake from the Wales defense, from the Wales for checking, and they are very successful to interfere into the attack pattern of the Columbians. Now we have a almost oh. one-on-one -on -one situation. There was a nice pass on the open side and, and the score. The, goal, yeah. the, the only difference between, I mean, Wales play also, I mean, uh, Orcas play earlier this morning first at 9 o'clock against Switzerland, and they won 13-0, so it was a, a relaxed match for Orcas, we can say. And Wales mm, had a, the uh, the match against Akaren, <coughs> and they lost 6-0. So that was a, a more um, tiring match for them. So that was that would be the only disadvantage that I would say. So now they have in um, against Orcas. <laughs> Great T-shirts from from West Africa. Okay, let's continue. Here is uh, the Australian team trying to recover the ball great job because that would have been a very dangerous counter um attack against the goalie that i was alone and now we have three four whites fighting for the ball being down and it looked that uh, they didn't recover the ball the columbus is still in possession they're coming over the close side the goalie just uh went toward the attacker with the ball before going up great job and uh, wow that was a great attack uh, on the head he turned around and did a blind pass over his back to the partner on the other side of the goalie i mean did you see that pass it was really cool on top of the defender i mean it was really interesting now let's see um it's one zero just for the orcas it's five minutes into the game so 
go Wales. I mean, great yeah, job. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I'm I'm uh, amazed, and it's a uh, defense, but also like uh, uh, um, for they fight for every ball here, for every centimeter in the pool area in front of their basket. And you see the attacks of the Colombians are very heavy. They come in and come in and come in in waves. But um, you need to, and this we saw a lot uh, in, in, the, in the World Championship for Juniors, you need to interfere with the ball play of the Colombians. Otherwise, they just uh, they play you dizzy. And uh, now we have a cluster on the surface. Ball is dropping down in the hands of Australian player who is almost instantly on attack. Um, under the basket and now the basket is probably empty and uh, I think it's uh, Samuel, yes, yeah, it's Samuel the captain, team captain of the Orcas and he scored in, uh, in this uh, chaos he they created around the defense and on the basket Dos of the Australians. Para Orcas. Están haciendo un buen, muy buen trabajo los chicos de Australia. Eh, sabemos que Orcas es el favorito de este, de este partido y uno de los favoritos para ganar la Champions en general. Así que es, es muy bueno el trabajo que está haciendo el equipo de Australia. Están pudiendo defender bien, pero bueno, o sea, los chicos de Colombia tienen mucha experiencia, tienen mucha práctica, son muy rápidos, muy efectivos, muy fuertes. Así que muy, muy bien. Eh, excelente. 2-0 si estamos pensando que ya, o sea, pasaron 6 minutos del primer tiempo y los chicos de Australia han tenido un partido fuerte por la mañana contra Karen, que también es otro de los favoritos el equipo de Noruega cuando los chicos de Orcas tuvieron el partido contra Suiza, que les fue como un poquito más tranquilo porque ganaron 13 a 0 así que, excelente wow, muy bien, ha defendido el australiano ha recuperado el balón y la están tratando de iniciar el contraataque I, lo I love that they're on time going back, trying to defend, something happened call up. from the referee, from the uh, chief referee out of the water Um, but uh, para Orcas, al partido. but uh, Wales really uh, did do give uh, the Colombians a hard time here. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's not an easy Definitely. game for Colombians, uh, and we don't know. We didn't talk to them what they expected here, but uh, they take every opponent serious. You have to in underwater. You never know what team is in the water. But uh, this is not easy, and this is a good game from the Australians. Andrea, eso es lo que estás... Uh, ah, 14-0 fue hoy al, el juego de Suiza. Gracias, Andrea. Sí, the score is sometimes removed before we can write down, and we are commenting, talking, doing several things at the time. Gracias, Andrea. 14-0. Así que, bueno, siguen los chicos de Colombia. A veces se va al marcador, pero bueno, nada, en unos segunditos vuelve. Estamos a unos metros de la portería de Australia. Los chicos de Australia están tratando de salir. Pero uh, Colombia no le da respiro y están ahora en la esquina peleando por el balón. Ahora viene en contraataque. Tenemos al, al medio o al atacante de Colombia solo con el, 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 con el portero. Lo acaba de sacar, pero el próximo portero well se done. puede recuperar. Están de nuevo, bueno, debajo de la portería, well pero se recuperan. They, they recover pre well if you consider the speed of the game right now it's 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 not the most beautiful rugby we see here but it's very effective what uh, wales does it's like um, being there in time in the last second and destroying the the play the path play of uh, the colombians be in between but this time it was uh, was a little bit too late and <coughs> was difficult to keep, like I said, Lorena, it's difficult for Wales to keep that speed up with which they have to interfere in this fast uh, ball playing of the Colombians. Um, not, probably not the prettiest game I've seen so far. Um, and it's, it Wales almost doesn't make it out of their own half. But they do a pretty good job in interfering in disturbing the the fast play like this it was very well done did you see it, it was a perfect pass to the open side in the hands of federico i think and uh, the ball was snatched away out of his arms and you have to do this you really be able to 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 steal the ball away from all the colombian players they move so fast so you have to know what is going to happen to be in between a ver bueno viene colombia en un contraataque la verdad es que no se la están poniendo fáciles a los chicos de colombia eh, 
A ver, viene el siguiente. Pero están defendiendo bien los chicos de Australia. Están posicionados, tratan de frenar al que viene con el balón. Tenemos a dos colombianos debajo de la portería. Hay que ver si pueden eh, frenar este ataque. Está Wall extendiendo el brazo hacia el otro lado. Se lo dio al próximo atacante sobre el izquierdo. Y ha podido hacer el gol de la... sobre el lado abierto. Great job. Did you see how he was on one side, extending the arm on the other, and the next Colombian guy came, and the defender was uh, busy with the attacker and didn't see that the ball was behind his back. I mean, wow, great job. 4-0 for Orcas. So it's, it's uh, well played, but nevertheless, even the, I think it was uh, uh, somewhere too, he needed two runs to, to push the ball in, so well defended and call from, uh, no, end of the first half in our game, uh, List is uh, not, or oh, the time display is not right. End of the first half here, Game 12, Champions Cup uh, 2018 in Berlin, and it's Champions Cup 30, 30 so it's the 30th. 30th, yes. Oh, a 3 0 for Orcas, not 4 0? Now I'm confused. 30th. 30th. 30th, I was corrected. 30th. 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 Um, so yeah, we have quite a Geburtstag to celebrate. Why? <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, uh, I'm I'm lacking the English word for birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> wow, my brain is going in freeze mode. Um, we have a birthday here to celebrate. 30 years of uh, Champions Cup, which is quite a feature. In the last 15 years, it was. Uh, uh, done here in Berlin uh, without break uh, and this is mostly the work uh, of Winfried Zürke uh, and uh, he's the heart and the motor of the Champions Cup and uh, I have to admit all the work uh, Lorena and me uh, invest in it it's just a little bit framework around from uh, to what Vinet does and uh, what he is investing in time and energy uh, into the Champions Cup in the live stream Uh, and he was one of the first ones uh, creating a live stream out of the water. Um, he built his uh, first underwater cameras. Nowadays it's much easier to get the equipment in high quality. Uh, but uh, in the old days, and when you see the transmissions you understand, uh, this was really revolu revolutionizing the way uh, underwater rugby was transmitted. But we have to admit, even though with this new means of uh, live streaming, having great pictures, there is still no success in promoting our sports out of uh, our own community into a greater uh, audience. And uh, even if you have pictures uh, here from the Champions Cup or from the EuroLeague or other very well done uh, live transmissions, it's mostly reduced to an audience that is underwater rugby related with friends and uh, families but we, we didn't manage yet to break the barrier into a bigger audience that is uh, involved in the game and is interested in watching and we talked about this uh, yesterday at the underwater rugby academy in the um, session of Manuel about uh, rules changing the rules for evolving the game and be more uh, media um, Adaptable. Uh, yeah. So back in the game here, Colombians uh, are in ball possession, going fast over the surface. <coughs> okay, so now we are on the Australian side again, and they're passing the ball around. Let's see, they're coming, they're passing always right, left, but the forward checking of the Australian uh, team is amazing i mean really right now they disrupt i would like to to know what they talk in the in this in the in this uh, half time in the, in the break because now they're uh, keeping the colombians a bit farther away they have learned the hard way that it's very dangerous to have them this close so the uh, attackers the four chickens need to be more active but as an easy thing to say but not an easy thing to do because uh, they have such uh, um, condition. I mean, the Colombians, speed. I mean, the speed. They can be down and passing the ball, and if you are reacting, they have such a speed game, and the Australians are reacting, 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 and that's m really um, deteriorate eventually the physical condition. And it's a free throw against uh, Colombia here, so good job by uh, the Australians. 
first to keep the Colombians away from their own basket and second to provoke uh, fall play and uh, free throw fall in their favor against the Colombians. Nice play here, nice defense work, nice interruption work uh, of uh, Australian team into the fast uh, gameplay and swimming of the Colombians. And Wales uh, goes for the Colombian basket, here we go. Already a player is uh, waiting on the open side and we see a very nice attack uh, from, uh, from Wales stopped by the Colombians, tackled to the surface. And Colombia is in ball possession, going very wow, fast, counter-attack Speedy counter-attack, wow. Yeah, and this is the number nine, Juan, uh, who scored at uh, the World Championship for juniors. 99, yeah. 99, and, uh, but he didn't score here, so very well defended by the goalkeeper. Yeah, he pressured. And called from the referee. It looked like he pressured for me too much up, and it fell a little bit uh, against the Free throw the against uh, Australia. So almost... I mean, 2.45 here in Germany, and the sun is slowly coming down between 4 and 5. It's going to be getting dark. And, uh, and we continue until 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Yeah, sorry, uh, there was uh, yeah, another goal four for zero. Colombia. Yes, I, we miss it, right? Sorry. I thought, yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> we have the the brother of, of Juan, uh, Jacobo La Verde, uh, commenting again last at the championship. Hola, Jacobo. Tu hermanito <laughs> es un peligro. A ver, en todo sentido de la palabra, por lo que hoy. A ver, Colombia, ¿cómo vamos? Six and a half minutes left in this uh, second half. Call against, uh, call of the referee. Rough playing and it's a free throw against Colombia. I think Colombians are a little bit annoyed by the play, uh, by the defensive game of Wales and by the effective uh, defensive play of Wales, who are interfering in between the play of the Colombians all the time. Referee pointed out a player and is uh, swimming to him. We don't have a camera for what uh, to see which player he, uh, the referee pointed out. Yeah, mm, that's. Uh and it uh, looks like a free throw against. Colombia for Australia again. Now we have the Australians attacking. Wow, and what happened? It shows that, that, that's what I ask. Wow, okay. <laughs> we have the goalkeeper and the defender of Colombia. Están en posición, la defensa y los chicos de Australia. Se la están padeciendo. Oh, great nice interception. Inter interception by the Colombian player. Sí, muy, muy bien. You really have to be careful here with the Colombians. If you just hesitate a second by receiving or passing the ball, they're in between and they snatch the ball, they strip the ball away out of your hands in a fast uh, speed. But now also can do the Australians what we see right here. And uh, I have to admit, they uh, really give the, uh, uh, the, the Yorkas here a hard time in uh, establishing their game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Orca has 4 0 and 5 minutes to go to score more if they want to. <laughs> and imagine they are on the same group. So it's important for Orcas, if they want to be top, they need to score, I believe, more than four goals because Akaren earlier today scored six. Let's see, uh, let me give me one second. And another attack from Australia, from Wales, from above the basket. That was dangerous for the uh, Colombian goalkeeper and the second wave comes in and now uh, the Corcas really have to defend they get out of this melee around uh, the basket with the ball in a fast counter attack and uh, Wales is in time at the basket but just in time so uh, the, the counter attacks here from Colombia are very fast very dangerous but nevertheless Wales doesn't make many mistakes uh, see, uh, what I want to say for the people that just tune in is to remind you, we have 15 males teams and we have four groups and that we're watching the games. Oh, and of, uh, no, score, right? Yes. Uh, it's Group D where we have Orcas, Akaren, Wales, Orcas from Colombia, Karen from Norway, Wales from Australia, Zurich from 
Switzerland. So there now we are on the preliminary games and they have to score as much as possible because winning of the games uh, <coughs> and uh, the scores, the amount of goals uh, is what it would give you the position in the groups. So <laughs> very fast, very a, a current 6-0 oh. won earlier today against Wales and Orcas is 5-0 and had three more minutes and um, for them it would be better if they could do two more scores. Yeah. Very funny uh, remark here from Nicolette, she just realized it's Wales against Killer Wales. <laughs> I have okay, to agree, what? didn't realize that. What? And another, uh, what, what was read it in the, in the chat please. And get out of my way, I don't see the picture anymore. Lorena, thank Sorry. you. And another attack Killer from Wales. Colombians fought off by the uh, Wales. So the, ki the Wales fought off the attack by the Killer Wales and um, Nice, nice game playing from Australia here, and they they had some chances here to score against the Orcas. Although the Orcas uh, do control the game, and uh, their ball possession is uh, longer and sustainable here in this game, but a very, very nice interference and interception game by Australian. Wales team and another attack from Colombians on the basket of Wales fought off uh, in the corner in the close side I'm really surprised uh, the way I mean the Australians are doing such a great uh, defend I mean this not really been an easy game for Orcas of course they're the dominant of course they're the stronger but Look, right now, they tried to pass it behind the defender, the defender got the ball, and now it's trying to uh, swim a counter-attack. So, I mean, good job, Australia. I mean, uh, they were here two years ago, the Wales, and I can't remember, like, I, but I remember them being a little bit, le I mean, not as good as now. Well, I don't remember. I don't really remember. And we have uh, one and a half minutes left here in the second half, and uh, Orcas are leading 5-0 uh, against uh, Wales from Australia. Uh, Soren, but this is to define the head of the groups. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, we are not there. I will ask. I'm not sure this is going to happen already in the preliminaries, but after that, I'm, I'm going to take a look. Okay, another and goal. And another goal. It's a 6 0 for the yeah. Orcas against Wales. Uh, earned, but hard work for uh, a 6 0 for the Colombians. It's not the easy game, probably th not what they expected. They have to work hard uh, to score and they have to be careful, like now, on their own basket, not to uh, show any weakness in the defense because uh, the Wales, Australian Wales, really go into the defense of the Orcas with all they got. And they try to score. Oh, very nice interception. Not successful, but very well done by uh, by this Wales player. 14 seconds, 10 seconds left. Continue. I'm just checking the rules. Five for well, it for will minute. end in a six zero six zero lead for the Orcas against Wales. Six That's zero. It. Wow. So the same as Akar. Um, Game over. And I give uh, the microphone uh, back to uh, Torsten. Torsten, uh, enjoy it. And uh, like I said, we have a little team here of uh, right, we can have Darrell commentators. For I don't know where is Darrell. <coughs> we have teams of commentators here. Sorry for uh, my coughing. Um, so we can uh, rotate. And uh, the other team is Stavren and Thorsten, and uh, it's me and Lorena. Here so is Darrell coming to comment on a Karen. Yes, perfect, great, thank you. So you can both... Okay, so we're going to pass, the we're going to keep the microphones. So let's get okay. back to the game. So now, next match. 
after the match Orcas versus the Wales from Australia what was the result of 6-0 for the Orcas we're playing now right now Akaran the team from Zurich so Akaran is the is the, uh, is the Norwegian champion and Zurich is the record champion from Switzerland we are going to see as referees we want to introduce you the referees as well it will be Lars from Denmark at the desk referee see him here in the middle with his back preparing um, the horn so we will have Robert Clock on the water there is the referee from uh, Austria and uh, also a member of the underwater rugby commission and we have Manuel our referee uh, within the CMS um, so also quite well experienced very well um, or very good uh, referees here in the water okay. for the match between Akaram and UST Zurich so we have seen so far so Wales has lost two out of two matches and um, for Zurich right now of course it's a it's a challenge now here uh, to prepare themselves probably for the following match then against the Wales who will be third or even fourth in the group um, it will be very tough for the tourist team they, they originally planned to come here by 12 players unfortunately just 11 player made it um, one player got injured it's Christian and on the Akaran side who's the Norwegian champion Bat Mulder in the last season we've also uh, there we have a full squad as I seem to remember trying to get the spots it's uh, 15 players coming here and uh, we try to give you also some introduction to the players if you can't see them in the water yeah so the referees are here going to fix the baskets again we see here Daniel Daniel Yusuf from uh, Switzerland supporting the referee with number Uh, you want to know? Yeah, yeah, the issue is that we don't have the, the, the team list in Switzerland. I found them. It's not on my list here. Here it is. It's a bit tricky. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, it's sure. Wait, 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 Devril. So I'm here with Devril, who is a, a well-known commentator from the EuroLeague. Thank you, Torsten. So, um, hope we both are going to commentate you and lead you through the game. So we see Akaran from Norway in blue against Zurich. I can from quickly read the, the team list if, yep. if you like. So, for Zurich from Switzerland, wearing number three, or the, yeah, they, they, they actually have the numbers here. Yes, yeah. so number three. Uh, Marcel Vetter is number three. Number five is Christian, Christian Anna. Anna Number seven, Matthias Dufour. Number 10, Hannes Puchel. Number 13, Martin uh, Bomle. Uh, 18, 18 Michael Mueller. Number 24, Peter Dominique. Dominic uh, yeah. Peter. Number 43, uh, Kasveri Orexo. Orozco, yeah. Orozco. Uh, number 54, Walter Bill. Number 73, Daniel Lucen. Number 84, Frank Triton. Number 88, Sebastian Husser. Yeah, there it is. And, and then on the, the other hand, we have the uh, we have the team from Akaran. Maybe we can also here give some names. Yes. You're more familiar in pronouncing them uh, from the EuroLeague. So, hope we have this minute. The below. Akaran's Oivin number two, Oivin Melem, Fritz Ellison number three, number six, Stian Holland, number seven, Jakob Larhammer. Number eight, Arid Lukum. Number ten, Andre Martinsen. Number eleven, Marius Stang Bunis. Number twelve, Tron Helge Lelevik. Number thirteen, Jakob Kahn. Number fourteen, Håkan Walderhog. Number fifteen, Erik Måstad. Number twenty-two, Niklas Soge. Number twenty-nine, Christian Schaefer. Number ninety-eight, Manakon Emman uh, E.M. Mano. Number 99, Joachim Fredriksen. That's the team's list from both teams, the full squad. If you want to read it, you can also go on their um, 
Champions Cup homepage, what is uwr24.de. You can forward it here to the Champions Cup homepage where you can find all the team lists of all the players. Um, so we try to give you the names as, as far as we can see them in the water, as far as we can recognize them in the water. 